Freeganism and I almost said cannibalism. Capitalism. Interesting slip of the tongue though, eh? Very Freudian. Say good morning, frugal daddy. Good morning. It's a shot up the nose. Here we go. Interesting camera angle. What I meant about capitalism, because in a previous video when I talked about why we dumpster dive, which the main thing is to get free food. Okay, yeah, I'm that cheap. I'm that greedy. I actually like to eat and feed my children, and I like free. So free food, and as we know, keeping stuff out of the landfill, we can review that later, but I also made the point that a lot of freegans reject capitalism. I'm not saying we don't participate to some degree in the capitalist system. I mean, we live here in America, what can you do? But a lot of freegans don't want to be part of that buying and selling, you know, support of the corporate monsters type system. So when I mentioned freegans reject capitalism, a lot of people had a fit about that. And I know as Americans, we are very much I was gonna say brainwashed, but I know you're not gonna like that term, folks, so I'm gonna say we're trained to be all like capitalism, capitalism, capitalism is the only way. And some of the comments I got were, oh, how could you say that? Communism sucks, and in my country, communism is making people starve to death, and blah, 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 blah. Did I ever say I am a proponent and fan of communism? No, I didn't. There are other choices between capitalism and communism. I'm not a communist. We, Frugal Daddy and I, there he is again, we grew up in the Cold War, okay? If you grew up in the Cold War, you know what I'm talking about. And if you didn't, you can't underestimate the impact of growing up in a culture where the communist countries were completely vilified. They were our enemy. We were afraid of them. We were taught that life in these countries absolutely sucks. You know, they're the enemy. They all wanted to escape. They all wanted to defect. They had ugly brown orthopedic shoes and their clothes were made out of burlap sacks and all they wanted was freedom and America and blue jeans and McDonald's. I mean, that's what we grew up being taught, is it not? Absolutely, yeah. it was. I mean, and, and you know, you, you knew that nuclear bombs were coming, and so you had to hide under your desk at school. We had to go out to our lockers and face our locker. Oh, my God. So, yeah, so we wouldn't, so we wouldn't so get the radiation. Hurt, wouldn't burn our eyes. Oh, my God. Yeah, we had drills. Oh, my God. Okay, we didn't have that at my school, but I kind of wish we had. So I'm not saying we're fans of communism. I'm not saying that, because we're not. And we grew up being taught communism's evil. I don't want to say anything's evil. I mean, hey, we're all people on the planet just trying to feeling... make it through. You know what's evil is not communism, and I'm not a communist, but it's dictatorships. People yeah, who have too much power. Now. There's a cat. No, I don't think capitalism is the best system. And why do I not think that? Because I believe capitalism has failed the people. I think that an economic system and a political system should serve the people. We are the people of this country. We should decide what we want our country to be. We've been very much trained in growing up here in America. and It's all capitalism. And if you work hard, you can get ahead and you can be a millionaire too. Okay. Really? So all of the people who are poor and struggling don't work hard? That's, that's the problem? That's the issue? Yeah. You know you work hard, okay? I reject capitalism. And when I came to that realization, that was a blow for me because I'm very patriotic. I'm all about America, 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 rah, 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 and everything about me. Oh yeah, capitalism, that's the way to go. But as I've seen how people really live and how there's such a massive divide now in our society between the uber rich and everybody else and everybody falling out of the middle class, I realize, no, this system does not work for us. So, okay, all I'm saying is, when I said rejection of capitalism, I wasn't endorsing communism. There are other choices. What I would like to see is more of a democratic socialism. Ah, that's what I would like to see. Where the government actually cares about the welfare of the people who have created the government, and yes, I believe there should be welfare safety nets so people in wealthy Western countries aren't living in abject poverty. So they're not living in 
fuel poverty, choosing between their medications and having a warm house. So they're not living in food insecurity. So children aren't going to bed hungry at night because there's not enough food in the house. Okay? That's what capitalism has given us. I think there should be socialism, but I, of course I think it should be a democracy. I, I, am not, I am not advocating communism. Okay? And no, it's not a political channel. And you could say, I didn't come here to hear your political views, frugal mommy. Who the hell do you think you are? Okay, well, there you go. There's the beauty of America. We all get to have an opinion, and that's mine. And I'm only bringing it up because I made that comment about capitalism before. So people assumed if I said, Freegans reject capitalism, it must mean we're communists. Warren Buffett, a long time ago, I heard him say, we need to take care of the less fortunate or the poor. I don't remember the exact words he used, but what he said was, if we don't, eventually there will the, They'll rise their, up and kill us? No, their weight will crush us. Will crush everyone. Not just them. It'll crush the system. It'll crush the world. Okay, I get what you're saying, and I'm so glad Warren Buffett wants care. to take care of people. But you don't take care of them because the burden of them will crush us. You take care of them because they're human beings who have as much that. value as anybody else on this planet, and we should all be taking care of each we other. Should, That's I, why you take care of people. All right, this was just supposed to be a quick, light-hearted, we're not communists kind of video, okay? That's it. We're not communists, all right? And if you are, that's okay, because you can be what you want to be. You do you. You want to be a communist? Be a communist. You want to be a socialist? Be a socialist. You want to be a ruthless capitalist businesswoman? Which at one point was my goal, but I gave up on that because I realized... Wait, you wanted to be a what? Ruthless capitalist businesswoman. But then I realized that was meaningless. I didn't want to spend my life just making money for some big corporation. So let's say... You were... I was an economics and math major. You know that. Right. And then I switched so to being saying... a religion major. And then I got a Master of Divinity. And then I got a Master's in Social Work. And I've devoted my life to helping others. Okay? Okay? Is that okay? So what I'm saying is you got a little religion. And then now you want to... You feel sorry for those poor... No! People. No! No! Okay. First of all, what's the point of having religion if it doesn't make you live a different life and help other people. No, I know a lot of religious people. I went to seminary. I worked in a church, okay? I know religious people. And I'm just saying, a lot of people are holy and religious and oh, oh, I'm so good and everything. But it doesn't spill, they're hypercritical, super judgmental, and it doesn't spill over into actually doing anything for anybody else. Not, and if your religion doesn't make not. you care for other people, then it's a whole crock of shit. But, the whole point of this video was not to get religion and not to be a political diatribe, which he has now made me do. It's just to say, if you're not a capitalist, it doesn't mean you're necessarily a communist. That's all I'm saying. So that's what you wanted to say. That's what I wanted to say before you interrupted me and started going on about Warren Buffett. Okay, so democratic socialism, is that not what England has? Basically, they have a welfare system. They take care of their people. And I know someone's going to say, yes, but it's crushing us economically. Hey, I don't have all the answers of how it's going to work. I'm just saying, America's got some money. When you have these people with billions and billions, I mean billions, I'm not talking about millionaires, billionaires, how much money do you freaking need? I'm not saying give it to me. I'm not on the government dole. I'm not taking benefits from the government. But if people need it, the point is I'm not a communist. And, okay, here's another point, philosophically speaking. And yes, I did have a lot of coffee this morning. Okay, I'm on a roll. Why do we want to be rich? That's a whole other video I've been wanting to make. But I'll segue into that right now. Why is being rich the goal? I'm not saying there's happiness in abject poverty. If you're cold, if you're hungry, if you're sick. Okay, you're probably not going to be that happy. But if you're fed and clothed, if you have your basic needs met, the more money you have is not going to make you happy. I am working on a theory right now. I got a theory going that the less money you have after your needs are met, the happier you're going to be. Now, would I like to have a safety net of cash? Yes, I would. Would I like to? Okay, thank you for showing me that. Would I like to have money saved up for my next Disney vacation? Yes, I would. Oh, the rejecter of capitalism wants to go to Disney all the time? Yes, I do, because it's the happiest place on earth, okay? Think about it, think about it, think about it. The spiritual people, right, the spiritual leaders in our tradition, they took a vow of poverty. They didn't take a vow of, I need to make as much money as possible. Think about that. People have always known, the wise people, the spiritual people, the in-touch people have known that 
wealth and focusing your life on accumulating more wealth is not what's going to make you happy or more spiritual or more in touch with whatever form of whatever Jesus, God, Buddha, Krishna, Confucius, whatever it is you follow, having a lot of money is going to get in the way. It's not going to help you on that path. They've always known that. And I'm not a communist and I do not think wealth leads to happiness or spiritual fulfillment. Oh, wow. Wow. Blow them out of the water with that one. Like nobody's ever said that before. I'm sorry. It's true. We're not communists. That's all I'm saying. That's what you were trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. That was a good one. How many times do I have to say it? I'm not a communist. Okay. Holy all right. Mother Mary. Thanks for watching. Wait. Please don't judge me. I'm not a communist.